Have you heard of MBWA? It was a whole management. Uh, well, I heard it when I did my MBA, so maybe it's old now. <laughs> MBW, anyone? Management by walking around. So I, I heard the story of a Canadian uh, a CEO, a Canadian who's a CEO of a large company in Canada. Apparently, he gets to work at 8.30 in the morning. He gets to his desk only at 10.30. He gets to work at 8.30, but gets to his room, his desk only by 10.30. Why? <laughs> what is he doing for two hours? Walking around. Talking to people, figuring out what's happening. So by the time he gets to his desk at 10.30, he knows exactly what's happening in the organization. He knows what people's challenges are, he knows. His, his finger is on the pulse, right? He knows. Management by walking around. Now if you try to practice that, there are more chances where you can pounce on success. Yeah, because join the front lines, right? Join the front lines. Sometimes the mistake we make is the higher we go, what happens? We get a bigger office, we get a corner office, our chair gets larger, desk gets larger. Ah, huh? right? And then we think, ah, so you go into a room and you close the door. <laughs> what happens? You are now shutting yourself up off from everything happening. And you are depending on others to know what's happening in the organization. So there's a story of Sam Walton. Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart. Yeah? And they say, what did Sam Walton do for relaxation? Any guesses? What did he do for relaxation? Any guesses? Yeah? Sam Walton for relaxation would go down to his supermarket and go and be the cashier. <laughs> that was his relaxation. Because he started Walmart because he wanted human interaction. He loves people. What did Bill Gates do for relaxation? Now there's a clue there. Even when he was chairman of Microsoft with a personal net worth of more than 50 or 55 billion dollars, what did he do for relaxation? Coding. <laughs> Coding was his relaxation. Well, somebody else is a dog. Business coding. <laughs> yeah, they are understanding. So on, on another note. So when when your work becomes something you enjoy, work is no longer work. And that's a beautiful place to be. When your work is something you enjoy. They say the best work you can do, you can have is work that you do whether you get paid or not. Right? And I'm very happy and proud and privileged to tell you that I'm in that place now. Yeah. I, I would do this whether I'm paid or not. Yeah. So, try to figure it out, figure it out, figure it out, figure it out. What's the point of spending your whole life at work doing something you do not enjoy doing? So no one on their deathbed, so they have done research of people on the deathbed, right? what, do they, what do they think of, what do they want at the last time, right? No one on the deathbed has ever said, I wish I had, could have worked one more day. <laughs> I wish I earned one million more rupees or one billion in Achilles case or whatever, right? I wish I, no. It's all about, I wish I did something more meaningful. I wish I helped more people. I wish I spent my uh, more time with my family. I wish I, you know, those type of things. Right? Upul, you are good? Right? All right. So what can we say? When you see success and you bounce on it, when I saw that, this is what that made me think of. I thought that was awesome. I thought we should do more of this. I thought that maybe you can take that learning, train others also, right? This is how that came across for me. Did you see what you did there? Did you realize what you did then? Sometimes people don't know what they did. So that's why you need to pounce and say, Ah, Prakash, I saw that. Very good. Right? What worked well there? So, guys, can we, can we do this? Can we do this? One is, try to do a little bit more of MBWA. If you can't do it first thing in the morning, can you do it before lunch? Can you do it after lunch? Can you get into the trenches? Can you go meet your people? Know what's happening? One. Number two. Can you try to bring appreciation into the process? Because you are not, yeah, borrowed appreciate can, can never, never, right? You are not appreciating, Sanjeev said, I need to appreciate. So I'll, I'll uh, appreciate Amangi for things that she didn't do. No, that's not going to be genuine, that's not going to be sincere. She knows I'm faking, I know I'm faking, nothing good will happen. So look for good things. So, suggestion, every time you decide to go for lunch, right? Before actually getting up and going for lunch, can you take five minutes, sit down and think, what are good things that I saw happening so far today? And make it a point before you actually go to the lunchroom that you circulate, circulate a little, go up to those people. Kubudu, I saw that. That was really awesome. Thank you so much. Nisal, I saw that. Fantastic. Etienne, I saw that. Great. Prakash, I saw that. Awesome. And then go for lunch. Which means you make it a habit, right? By the way, today I'm going for lunch, I think. Who did something good today? And I'm thinking, thinking, I can't find a single thing. Now, isn't that also good learning? Isn't that also good learning? You think, I could see nothing good today. I call a department meeting in the afternoon. Guys, come here. What's happening? 
I couldn't find anything to celebrate today. What's happening? Yeah. So either way, there's learning, there's, there's some practical thing we can do. How many of you think we can we can we can practice this? We can put it in practice. Yes? Yeah? Shall we put it in a chart or form or whatever? So Monday morning we start doing this, right? Monday morning we start doing this. Start making changes. Which is a can do? Yeah? Ahmed? Okay, awesome. So what have we written down? How you can actually practice walking around a bit more, and it's good exercise also. <laughs> And try to bring appreciation into the process. But genuine, 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 authentic. That doesn't change. It's authentic. Yeah. It has to be authentic, right? So can we do this exercise? Let's kick it off now. Can you take two, three minutes and write down who are the people you saw doing something great last week, this week, whom you think deserves some appreciation? Go through that now. Write down a few names. A few instances, yes please. Looking from home. Yeah. Looking from home. All right, good, good question. Uh, Miruna. Miruna. So what Miruna is asking is, what, how do we do this if we are most staff working from home? Yeah. So one thing is, when people are working from home, they are even more disconnected, right? Yeah. So you have to make it a point to have more face time with them first. Show them you are there. Show them you care. Yes, they are not alone. Right? Now you can't be watching them the whole day to see what they're doing. So you actually, maybe by setting them work to do, they finish it on time, you can still find moments of appreciation. You ask them, what did you do today? And help them to identify moments of success. See, if you take even ourselves, we are working very hard, right? That is it, working very hard. When is the last time you sat down and appreciated yourself? You know, when did you lost out to do that? So which means you have never done any good things for as far as long as you remember. Never done good things or? Have done, I think. Have done, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you must have done a lot of good things, right? Yeah, but see the point is, now what if you, let's say today, yesterday was a working day, and today you just try to remember, recall, what are the good things you did yesterday? Do you think you'd be able to do that now? Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand now? Right? Yeah. And then if no one is appreciating you, you can appreciate yourself, like we discussed yesterday, right? So the journaling and all of these things is for you to appreciate you. I did this, I did this, I did this, right? Yeah. Now the story I told you all yesterday of where this guy told me, uh, Sanjeev, the SPDD program changed my life. Yeah. Now when I told you that, that was a way of me appreciating me. <laughs> yes. And whenever I'm feeling down, if somebody else in my team says, Sanjeev, remember this incident? You help this person. What happens? I get a boost again, right? So by the way, again, remember, your bosses are also human. <laughs> sometimes, not sometimes, they are under more pressure than you. Right? So go, tell them the good things they are doing. Tell them how they are helping you. One is it builds a relationship. And do it help that way, get through the day, right? So whatever we are talking about, ladies and gentlemen, you can do both upwards and downwards. Upwards slightly differently, but your clever people, you can have work that out, and downwards. And even to your peers. It's basically now in an organization, big organization, we uh, as teams, we don't work alone. We have to get the support of other uh, yeah. external departments, you know, stakeholders. So I think it is important that we also appreciate their, uh, you know, the efforts they bring in. Especially for IT, you know, basically as you told, <laughs> it is always, you know, uh, you know, a struggle getting things done from IT. But when they do something good, we need to appreciate it. So it's a motivation level. Yes, absolutely. Of course, in IT's case, they hardly do anything good, right? <laughs> no, I'm joking. I, I'm, I'm an IT guy myself. Okay, you're absolutely right. That's what I was saying about the peers, people at the same level also. Find ways to appreciate them as well. Because when you do, reciprocity. But whatever I'm telling you, do it genuinely. Do it because you feel I should appreciate that person. Not don't do it because you feel if I appreciate that person will appreciate me. I don't understand. Do it. Oh, I have not heard of that. Okay. Okay, that's a, that's an interesting part. Appreciative inquiry. Alright. Did we do this? How many of you found people that you can appreciate or not? Eh? Come on, if you haven't found anyone, there's something wrong, right? And you were in the company. Yes? They have all found. Great. So, 
Can we appreciate people? Can we make it a point? Can we, can we institutionalize this? Process it? Good idea? Good idea. Come on, guys. Give me something back. Great idea.